Good afternoon, everybody. So far, I think we have one student. Well, thank you for coming. We'll give people a chance for others to log in. Maybe we'll get a few more. Oh, yes. Now we have Lee and Borislav. Well, for Lee and for Borislav, hi, I'm David Podell, president of Mass Bay, and some of my colleagues are here to help answer your questions as well from the administration of the college. And uh, thanks everyone for coming. So let's start with any questions that, oh, Lee is, is a staff member. Okay, so maybe we have one student. Okay, so Borislav, any questions that you want to ask? Unmute yourself and feel free. Don't be shy. Let's see, what news can we share with you? Well, June 30th is our commencement, our virtual commencement online. We're doing the the, the recording of it today and this week. So it's going to be really fun and cool and exciting. I don't know if you're a graduate, but uh, next year we'll go back to traditional commencements. Thank goodness. What other news? Uh, we this week opened up the Ashland campus for some of the automotive students who needed to do hands on work with cars. Not all of them, but some of them. And I think they're starting this week. The faculty came back last week. Very strict protocols and rules about uh, social distancing and use of doors and bathrooms and space, et cetera. Uh, and in the fall, we'll do some of that as well for Framingham campus for the health science students. Uh, so we're gradually inching our way toward repopulating our campuses, but we're not rushing. As you know, the most classes, the vast majority of classes are and will continue to be remote or online, certainly for the rest of the summer and for the fall. Let's see, looking to my staff, any other announcements you want to make for our one loyal student who's here, Boris Luff? Are we on Facebook as well, team? We are, we are not. We're not. Okay, so this is the only, so if, if I don't see the names, they're not here. That is correct. <laughs> Sir. I see their names, they are here. So, Borislav, let me ask you a question. You know, we're having these town halls every Monday, but as you see, we're not getting a big turnout. Should we continue, do you think? You can either answer uh, by getting off mute, or you could answer in the chat room. Okay, they're useful. Good. So we'll continue. So let's see, team, what other news can we report to Borislav? We're still working on the road around the Wellesley campus. That should be finished in the next couple of months, right, Joe Delisle? Yep. Finally. That'll be exciting. We're also doing some work on the roof at the Wellesley campus. So good to get these things done when there's nobody there. Let's see, we're getting ready for SOAR, for orientation for students who are starting in the fall. I did a little video today, which I sent to Julie Schleicher. Was that okay, Julie? It was good. I loved the dog. Yeah, my dog made a cameo appearance in the video. Very brief. But he had other things to do. We were outside. P 
People are registering now for their fall courses. I see Nina Kiri, Dean of Humanities and Social Sciences, is asking Borislav if he's registered for the fall. Borislav, what is your what program are you in? Design engineering. Whoa, okay. Well, Dean Javdekar is here in case you have questions for her. We got some good news today that we got a big grant. Do you want to tell us about the grant, Dean Nikiri? Sure. Well, I just got off the phone from Washington, D.C., and we were awarded a $300,000 grant as part of the NEH's Emergency CARES funding for higher ed institutions. So we'll use that money to um, support faculty over the summer as they prepare to teach remotely. So we'll be buying some uh, hardware, buying some laptops for people that don't have laptops. We'll be doing a lot of professional development training. Um, really thankful that that we were awarded this money. It's a it's a lot of money to have to spend in a really short period of time. So I think I think that's a good thing. What's the window for spending it? We have until December the 30th. Okay, well, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I see Borislav saying that he's gonna be graduating. Um, he's finishing up this summer. So I guess you, you will be participating in commencement on June 30th, is that right? I, I hope so. We're making a really nifty video experience for you and for the other 624 graduates. And I hope you enjoy it and your family too. Uh, it's really designed for everybody. I know it's not quite the same as marching across the stage uh, in, under the tent, which is really sweet, but under the circumstances, we did the best we could. And you can always come back next year if you wanna march across the stage. We'd be very happy to have you. So what are your plans after you graduate from Mass Bay, Borislav? I think we picked up another student, Christopher Yu. Okay, great, Borislav, you're going on with your education. Do you know where you're gonna study yet? Yeah, okay. Well, I hope you work with our uh, transfer counselors in the Office of uh, Academic Advising. They can work with you and help you choose your next college. And Christopher Yu has joined us. Christopher, do you have any questions for us? You can either unmute yourself or you can ask in the chat box. And then there's the mysterious call-in user, who I presume is a student, could be a staff member. Any other um, thoughts to share with our couple of students who are here, team? Oh, I see that Dean Javdekar is sending some advice to Bertlop to look at UML, to talk to Professor Marina Bograd, good idea. That would be a good idea to look at UMass Lovell and also 
um, yeah, Professor Bograd is really awesome. Great, great. And here's Raymond. Hello, Raymond. You have to unmute yourself. We can't hear you. Or were you on the phone as well as? Well, I was on the phone, but then for some reason it didn't like sound. Okay. So now Sorry. you're in through WebEx. Good. Welcome. We all have a handful of students. Any questions we can answer for you, Raymond? So, okay. How is the how is the um, fall semester going to run in terms of you know like online yep. stuff? Okay. So all the classes will either be truly online, which means asynchronous, right? You sign in at any time of day or night, or remote which means it meets like a class you know monday wednesday friday at 11 or whatever uh but of course through the web and through webex so all classes will be like that except for a very few set of labs in automotive and health science and biotech and those labs will meet in person but with social distancing and masks and everything very okay incredible. yeah because I basically are you in? Um, human services, but I want to do social work after I finish at Mass Bay. Great. So you're studying with Liz Watson and Liz Hannigan. Yeah, Great. I'm taking I'm taking her summer intern like internship program. So Great. It's okay. Good. 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 So other other questions, Raymond. That's really it. Because I was just like basically. The, the only thing that's worrying me is I don't know if they forward you the email between me and um, I don't remember his name. It was someone from like I emailed if the fall semester was going to be online or in person and then the person responded to me. Uh -huh. So um, and he said he was going to forward the information about how I felt for doing the summer, you know, doing the fall semester online. Yeah. The only thing that is that it's like I feel like might be hard about, you know, doing the fall semester is how do we get to email the professors if like I had that issue before whether the professor took forever to email me back. And I have yeah. just one question and the professor took like almost a week or two to respond back to me if mm -hmm. if I didn't ask the uh, the Dean of um, critical thinking I went through the Dean of critical thinking and then she was like oh um, I forward your information to the professor he should be getting back to you and if he doesn't let me know and then I'll call him so to let him know yeah. get back to you that's that's the only thing that like really frustrates me that frustrates me because I'm like what if I have a you know yeah. question right away that I need to answer, and the professors are not going to answer you know yeah. right away? In in the spring, I'm, yeah, in the spring we switched to online and remote so abruptly that it was very disruptive for the students, but it's also disruptive for the faculty, and we learned a lot of things. You may have completed a survey that we distributed to students asking how was the semester. But the students overall said, we need more structure, we need more communication, and we need faculty to realize more that our lives have been disrupted as well. So we've shared that with the faculty. So I'm hoping that your experience in the fall will be better because I think the faculty have heard what the students are saying. We need more communication, more structure, more understanding. One thing I would suggest also, when you write to the faculty, when you have a question, if it is a time sensitive concern, put in the header of the email. Urgent. Time sensitive. <laughs> okay. Time sensitive. So at least the professor might just say, oh, let me answer this one quickly because I know somebody's waiting for the answer. It's an approach. Okay. Uh, maybe it'll yield a quicker response. Can't say. But David, can I jump in as well? Go ahead, Sue. Thanks. Hi, uh, Mike Simudroni. I'm the Dean of uh, Business and Professional Studies, and I oversee the Human Services Program. So I'm happy to 
happy to meet you today. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to say you did the right thing. You emailed the instructor. And when you didn't hear back from the instructor, you emailed the dean for the course. And I know that can be frustrating. Um, I will often include in my emails um, to feel free to nudge me if you don't hear back from me. So you know, given the unprecedented times and the amount of email I think faculty were receiving over the spring, um, they might have missed emails. And I don't think you should ever worry about just sending a reminder to the faculty and then reaching out to the dean if you don't hear back. Um, we're also trying to um, uh, pilot or troubleshoot the possibility of um, having the, op the ability to um, call instructors. So it's still it's something we're working on in the summer. You know, now that we are looking at a, a remote fall, um, we are recognizing that that the importance of faculty and students being able to communicate is something we really need to focus on. So uh, I'm really grateful that you came to and, and shared that experience with us because we need to hear what happened so we can figure out how to move forward. Yeah, so, it, was, it, it was just kind of like a little bit um, like frustrating for me. Yeah. That one question, I'm like, I don't do well with like online classes that much if the professors just like how he did, he basically just all his, you know, content in Blackboard didn't even say a word about what he's going to do, how is he going to do it. He just put it in there and he expected everybody to do, you know, whatever they needed to do, which mm -hmm. I'm like, I get it, but at least make, you know, like a WebEx or something so that we know how you're going to run or how the things are going to be. But he didn't even do that. He just like, Put all his information there, um, and then left it there for people to do it. Right, like yeah. President Podell said, we, it was such a fast transition. We, the faculty, I can tell you this: the faculty are working really hard this summer at figuring out how to resolve situations just like that. You know, how to really make remote teaching have that um, that ability to talk face to face with you know, between faculty and students that you might not have in an online experience. And the flexibility that we need to we need to have in this environment. So, um, wait, wait, again, thank you for for expressing that um, because it is something we we do take really seriously, and we're working on um, working on trying to figure out the best way. I don't think it'll ever it'll ever be perfect, but it never is. Yeah. <laughs> Even in the best of all the possible worlds, uh, but we can always try to do our very best. So thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, Raymond. And I see we've been joined by a few more students. Uh, Gilsia, Matthew, one other whose name I can't make out. Um, welcome. And we're happy to answer any questions you have. I see that Christopher Yu has asked, will classes resume on campus in the spring or still online? Well, that's a little too far in the future for us to answer. Spring, we're just making it to fall. Uh, I would really, really hope we'll be back in the spring. But of course, it's all going to depend on what's happening with the pandemic. Uh, if it's safe, we'll be back. But if it's not safe, I guess there's a possibility we won't be. It seems to me at this moment unlikely that we won't be back, meaning I think it's likely we will be back. But, you know, I don't have a crystal ball and uh, I don't know what the future holds. And you can see my dog in the picture now, Max. What's doing that? Max always likes to make an appearance during the town halls. Come here, bud. He's a little annoyed at me because he wanted to be downstairs and I made him come upstairs against his will. So he's holding a grudge. He's not likely to growl or bite it, bite me, but he's uh, he's, dis he's showing me his, his displeasure. I'm not going to get a good evaluation by him at the end of the semester. Um, so other questions from from students. Don't be shy. And now we're joined by Hector. Either put yourself off mute to ask your question or you can ask them in the chat box if you'd like. Questions about anything.
We've got a whole team of people here ready to answer your questions. I do have a you know question. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, so I basically this is my first semester. This was my first semester at Mass Bay, which was like the the spring of you know 2020, and. I did not do as well as I was expecting. Yeah. And because of the fact the, that the, um, I thought that because it was my first semester, the financial aid will take that into consideration. And in terms of basically, because of the pandemic, financial aid will take that, you know, into a mind or whatever. Um, so they basically put me on a warning because my completion rate is too low. Yeah. And um, I spoke with the academic probation person. Okay. Um, and I'm also in a warning for them as well because of my GPA. So is there, is there like, is financial aid like the is the summer consider a semester for financial aid? Because I know they said that I have a whole semester to get my completion rate up. Right. But I'm taking a summer class, so I don't know if this summer counts as a semester. So I would not have a semester to complete the thing. I'll just have one month to complete the completion rate. OK, well, let me turn to my colleagues and see if any of them can answer that question, because I don't know the answer. Allison? So you will have until the end of the fall, the fall semester. The summer does not count as a full semester for that um, purpose. Well, I, I spoke to oh, my oh. aid about that, and they were like, oh, it does count as a semester. Um, you you need to complete we will run um staff um at the end of the summer which will be in the in the july and then if you don't meet that requirement then you'll be on probation okay which was okay. weird yeah raymond what's your last names can i follow up with you after this town hall yeah it's um robles Okay, great. Thanks, Raymond. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Other questions? I think we've been joined by Lisa Silverio. Questions? Just unmute yourself or feel free to ask in the chat box. Let's see, we have a question. Will in-person classes resume in fall 2020? No. Except for labs in health science, automotive, and biotech, we'll still be off campus in fall 2020. Uh, that is to say, classes will be either taught online, which means asynchronous, you log in whenever you want, or they'll be remote, meaning they meet Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 11 or whatever through WebEx. So, Regular classes will not be in person in the fall. And Hector asks, what time will the college be open? Do you mean um, when will we reopen? Is that what you mean, Hector? Because we expect probably in the spring. We're not exactly sure, as I was saying before. Uh, but is that what you meant in your question, Hector? Let me say what time. OK, good. How's your day today? Good. This is Hector? Yeah, it is. Hi, Hector. How are you doing? I'm good. Good, good. Any questions you have for us now? Uh, not really. You, you answered our Okay. So, Hector, which program are you in? This program? Um, well, I was going to choose uh, liberal arts, but I went for general studies because uh, I'm more into graphics yeah you don't have that major here so after two years in, in this college i'm going to transfer to Framingham state university good 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 
Sounds like a good plan. Thank you. Was this your first semester in the spring or? Uh, the fall last year. Fall, okay. So you completed a year. What a spring semester it was, huh? Yeah. Whoa. But you got through it? I did get through it. Good, good. It was a challenge. But you know, the last time we had a, a pandemic was 100 years ago. So if we can get through this, we can get through anything and we have to wait till 2120 for the next pandemic, let's hope. Hopefully this thing goes away quicker because it's really annoying being in the house all day long. It's, uh, it's stressful. And taking classes online, yeah, kind of stressful as well. It is. It is. I think everybody's struggling. So it's affecting their studies. It's affecting their family life. Some people say they're getting depressed by it. You have to take care of yourself. Try to take breaks. Try to get outside. Try to keep in touch with friends. I see Lisa is asking, I'm muted because I'm homeschooling my son. I understand. I do not have any questions immediately. I'm currently taking an online site class that's not been impacted. Okay, good, Lisa. Glad that's going okay. How is homeschooling your son going? That's like another job for you. Oh boy. Hands full. Other questions or thoughts you want to share? I see Lisa saying it's been okay overall, just okay. Ha ha. Mm -hmm. They don't have the same expectations and disciplines that adults do. Yeah, and some adults don't have a whole lot either. <laughs> Thanks for keeping everything up to date. Thanks, Lisa. Good luck with homeschooling your son. How old is your son? What grade is he in? Nine. Okay. So you've you've become the classroom teacher. Going into fourth grade. Okay. And Nathan's joined us. Hi, Nathan. Sorry, I was muted. Hello. Welcome. Nice to see you. You too. How is everything going? I'm going, um, it's going well. Um, I am halfway done with my marketing course. I'm starting week five this week. It's a 10 week course um, online um, taught by Professor Nimi. And it's going well. Um, yeah. You've got a great professor there, Professor Nimi. Yes. Good. Oh, he is good. Great guy. Yeah. And then I also, I'm sorry to like, you know, have a lot of questions because I just remember, I just remember this. Um, I signed up for that program that it's like the math program, I think it is that, or the English thing that you, if you, if you replace into English math 90 or whatever, you can go from July, from July until August to take a math course, like to do the active place, like you, you go and take classes or whatever, and then it's like a bridge program. The bridge. Is it called the AIM program? Yeah. Yeah, good. Um, but the thing is, I haven't got any information. I saw, um, I put all my information in there and I never, like, they I didn't talk to me. They haven't, you know, I haven't heard from them. And I guess it starts in like July or August. Yeah, I'm not quite sure when it starts. I know it's it's pretty late in the summer. Maybe it's an August program. Um, so uh, be a little patient. If in a week or two you haven't heard, will you email me? Okay. 
And my email address is dpodell, D-P-O-D-E-L-L, -L, at massbay.edu. Okay. So give them another week or two. And if you haven't heard, then drop me a line and we'll follow up. Okay, yeah, because that was like, I, I signed up, but I thought that they usually send you, um, when you do like the form, those forms, it sends you a, like a, Email like a regular email that says that that you have you know you have been um, enrolled or whatever, and then um, they they it, it gives you all like that information like your name, whatever, whatever you put in there. But it's it didn't a special summer program, so the schedule is a little different, and it happened so late in the summer that they might not have sent out the uh, emails yet to say welcome to the program. Okay, all right. Thank you. Hector is writing. That the course I took for math was basic math. I didn't know that the class doesn't give you any points. So you might have taken a developmental math course, which means pre college course, which doesn't have any credits attached to it. But after that, that's what comes when you take the OccuPlacer and it places you into, based on your performance, it places you into a course that might be pre college uh, in its content. So if you pass that and you do well, um, then you can move on to college level math. If you're unsure, talk to your, your academic advisor. Thank you. So you're saying I see in the in the in the chat room you said so that means I chose the class for nothing. No, 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 no. I don't think it was a mistake. It was probably the result of taking the AccuPlacer. It's probably okay. placed. So I don't think it was a mistake. What was that sound? I don't know. It sounded weird. That's that's Joe again. Joe, Joe it's you're coming in. <laughs> yep, once again. Joe, what's up? Like a little weird. <laughs> Joe will be, be back. What is up? Joe, you can talk to us in the chat room. Maybe it'll, it won't sound as funny. Uh, Hector, uh, Dean Javtikar put some advice to you in the chat room about your next math class. Okay. Good. Make sure you get into the right one for fall. Oh, that's what Joe Delia was saying. Joe's sending a shout out to Nathan. Haven't seen you in a while. Hope you're doing well. Thanks, Joe. Thank you. I am doing fine. A little, um, a little bored with all this, but otherwise, I'm doing okay. Yeah. Join the army of people who are all a little bored with this. Yeah. It's going to be great to see each other again when we're back in the cafeteria. Yeah, it will feel it will feel much better being in in the school. Even though, even though I come to the school, so it's like two almost an hour of a train ride. <laughs> I know everybody always complains about their travel, their commute, but now, boy, wouldn't bother me one bit. Which is good. Well, I don't. I I'm not like you know mistaken or whatever, but I, I like it's just basically the travel, basically coming from. Going from Worcester, taking the train from Worcester, going, getting off at Wellesley, well, Wellesley Hills, and then yeah. from there getting the shuttle that you know the um, Metro West runs and going to the school, which is which is not even that bad because it's like only like five minutes, 
of a drive yeah. once I get once they pick me up from the station and then they bring me to the to the school. So it's not even that like far. Still, you're coming all the way from Worcester. That's quite a quite a travel. Yeah, because I had I had um I went to a you know I was gonna go to a different school, but like it did not make you know I did not like it a lot like at all. All right, so you came to Mass Bay. Yeah, because I felt well, I felt like Mass Bay was like more helpful mm -hmm. in terms of like disability services and stuff because I have um you know I'm legally blind even though I don't look like it. Um, I can see a little bit, but not that much. Um, and like at the school that I was at, you know how you have a paper that says that if you have a disability or whatever, you can do, you can write it, and then you'll still be considered a full-time student. If you're taking three classes, they did not have that at the other school. Uh, the 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 um the disability services coordinators weren't really helpful was that a quinn sigamund yeah and i'm like i basically i basically moved out of there yeah because like i did not like it at all so i decided just to basically move to you know mass bay instead of staying at the you know at quinn sig i'm glad you found us I like it better because it's better the of the commute. Like I, I like going to Boston, so you know, going into that commute makes it better. <laughs> Not just being right. here in Worcester. Yeah. Worcester's yeah. Like boring. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you're you're signed up at Mass Bay, and I can't wait to meet you in person when we're all back there. Thank you. Me too, because it's really crazy being you know, yeah, everything yeah. online. We'll get past it. Just be a little more patient. All right. Any other questions or thoughts you want to share? All right. Well, we're going to sign off then and see you next week. Those of you who want to attend, thank you for coming today. I hope that uh, all is well as you continue your studies and we'll do our best for you. All right. Thank you. Have a great day. All right. Be well. Be safe. Thank you, soon. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Bye, group. Have a great day, Mr. Podell. All right. Might as well get off.